Yo guys, Features Gaming here, welcome back to another video here on the channel and today as you can see we are not on Roblox even though I'm doing a facecam video and we are actually on Euro Truck Simulator 2 or more known as Truckers MP and you can probably tell by the title we're going to be doing something either very good or very stupid today. Obviously I'm on my wheel because I am on Euro Truck, it's what I play Euro Truck on, my wheel, my trusty Thrustmaster wheel. And today I have got a um a double trailer. And what I plan to do is go on the C D road. Yep, that's I'm gonna take a double trailer on the C D road. Now I now I will say it's not a full double trailer. I think it's like a B double or something like that. So it's kind of like double and half a double. Or like it, so it's like a normal trailer and then half a trailer. Because if I wanted to get a full double, I'd have to spawn in Helsinki. And you can't quick travel with a double trailer all the way down to Duisburg. So, yeah, we're starting in Duisburg. I'm taking a job. I'm taking some dynamite because that just sounds fun from Duisburg to Calais. And obviously, we're going to be going, well, that's the route, but obviously rerouted to go onto the CD road. So, if I go into the drive menu, you can see how there is loads of people behind, uh, all around us. And, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get started. So I've let some people know on my Discord that I'm doing this. So I don't know if they'll be joining me soon. Uh, and I've told them where I am. So I just hope that eventually they will sort of catch up. I don't know. I'm not on um, VC uh, as I usually am on my streams. So this could get interesting. They're actually coming. So I might just reverse to let them go, actually. Go on. Oh, yeah, I think he actually flashed me all right then. Thank you. So I need to take a wide swing out so I don't hit my trailer. And then cut back into this lane. There we go. So as I said, this could either be something very stupid or something that could make some great content. And there is actually a possibility that I could get banned today. So I really hope that people do know that I'm recording right now um, or that they know that I am recording. Because um, I don't actually see any green dots behind me, so I might just let them know uh, what you know that I am starting the journey. So while I'm actually here at the red light, real quickly, I might just quickly message them saying that I am uh, that I am uh, that I am driving. So hopefully, with them knowing, they should know that I am uh, obviously on the road now. So yeah, green light, and we can now get going. So I'll let them know, and I just hope that they're going to join pretty soon. Uh, I will be following speed limits as much as I can um, when I say that, to be honest, you know, the everyone just does 68 down the CD road. I don't know why they do it. Um, I try and be a bit, a little bit, you know, cautious. Um, I try and abide the speed, or I, I try and go by the speed limit when I can. Um, so if it's something like 50, then I might just go for it. Um, or I might just say it's, you know, like 50 or something like that. But if it goes down to like 37 realistically no one does that and i know i have been told by moderators in the past that um i pro that i probably should be going that speed 37 but the, the the thing is is that as i said no one abides by speed limits so i feel it'll be more dangerous in, in in myself to be going the correct speed limit obviously on that road obviously in real life i would be going the speed limit you know obviously this is a game it doesn't really matter I mean, obviously there is the banning issue, but to be honest, I haven't really seen anyone um, being banned for speeding on the CD road like excessively. So, um, I mean, if any moderators do want to get in touch with me, please do let me know. But um, yeah, uh, I haven't known anyone that's literally just been banned for speeding on the CD road. So, and as I said, you know, I think it's more dangerous to, you know, go 37 uh, while on the CD road because you know when you're on the CD road and you're going 37 if no one's following the speed limits They're just gonna be passing you with you know, and there's gonna be cars, you know or Traffic on the other side of the road and uh, yeah, it can just get a little bit dangerous So personally, I just go the speed. I just go, you know Whatever I need to to be honest. So yeah, just thought I would let you know about that Is that on my screen get off? Thank you. So now that I've told you that um I think we're a bit, I think we are pretty much approaching the CD road so I'm going to probably leave this in or or leave this in all uncut unless there's something that's like very boring 
Um, so you guys can basically experience the CD road as I'm driving it. So I thought that would be a pretty good thing to do. So yeah, let's get to the CD road, even though we are pretty much on it right now. I think literally there's that turning you can see on the mini map and we'll be done. Actually, you know what? Let's go full uh, POV mode with no sat nav, nothing at all. And we'll just drive of it uh, or we'll, and we'll just drive uh, as it's supposed to so yeah we are on to the cd road or cd road right now and i do th uh, i remember uh, looking back that there was a green driver there was like a green marker saying that there were uh, so that, or saying that it was someone from my uh, friends list but i'm not too sure who it was uh i hope that they're with me again but i'm i don't know yeah 37 like this i'm i'm not going 37 i'm going 50 because as i said you know realistically no one goes you know 37 and that's what i mean you know if i was going 37 <laughs> something like that's gonna happen and they've just been banned for one week so there is a moderator actually moderating and someone's just been banned and i know why they got banned it was a solid white line so if there is a moderator moderating this side or moderating they're taking a triple good luck with that if they're moderating you know as i said you know i'm literally you know admitting that i am speeding i am you know breaking the law technically but they haven't banned me my goodness they just wanted to give me a scare for my life didn't they <laughs> unless they lagged or something but my goodness that was uh that was quite something that was you know but obviously you know i was ready to react you know i reacted well and uh, got video footage, obviously. And I think that's something that's key when you want to play Truckers MP. You know, really, when you play Truckers MP, you need to, you know, you, you really need to be recording when you're on there. Because I have seen a few people get unfair bans, but because they weren't recording, they didn't have their evidence to back them up of, you know, if they wanted to, like, appeal their ban. So they literally had to, you know, wait through the ban, even though it probably wasn't their fault. Like, I've literally seen someone gun it down the middle of the lane and the person on the other side trying to make way has been banned. And because they haven't been recording, uh, they were they didn't have evidence to say that it was them in the wrong. And even if they even if they used the video from the reporter's point of view or something like that, sometimes the uh, the mods are, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes the mods don't even accept that. You know, it's, it's kind of weird, to be honest, because obviously, you know, Trucker's MP isn't perfect, you know, we, we have to admit that, you know, there are going to be times where, you know, people are going to get bans and things like that and necessarily, you know, take for example, lag could be affected. So, you know, a truck could get banned, but they actually had no idea what they were doing. Like, say if a truck was lagging, like say if I was lagging and I accidentally drifted into that side of the road, I mean, technically it would still be my fault. But the thing is, is that I would have um, video evidence to show that I was lagging and um, the and I'm not saying I'll, I'll get unbanned, but I'm probably saying the ban would probably be a bit shortened because I, you know, because I was lagging. So it wasn't I wasn't deliberately trying to, you know, cause a crash. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't say you would get unbanned, but your ban might be reduced. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, if you are curious, I have been banned on Truckers MP once, I will be honest. And admittedly, yes, it was fair. Me and a few of my friends uh, were doing some, you know, we call it bumper cars. We don't do bumper cars anymore uh, now on Truckers MP because obviously we know uh, what happened. But me and my friends were basically like crashing into each other, you know, in a, in, a, in a city. I mean, there was no one around, you know, we made sure that we were doing it in a pretty, you know, in a, in a not busy location and um two of us out of three got banned um so yeah admitted you know it, it was our fault we shouldn't have done it i you know i've learned my lesson now about that but um yeah and you know i mean in some cases it was a little bit unfair because both of us you know we all knew what we what we were doing you know we're all friends here you know we weren't deliberately trying to you know just cause harm or anything and as i said you know we made sure to go to a quiet location and you know there wasn't actually anyone else near um where we were doing it so it was a bit unfair it's just you know coincidence i guess that someone was just watching us ready to report us and uh yeah unfortunately we did get banned but as i said you know according to the rules of truckers mp you know regardless of 
you know if we were friends or not we did break you know terms and we did get banned so i learned my lesson not doing anything like that again uh obviously you know if it's you know on convoy mode or something like that then obviously we will do bumper cars and things like that but when it's on truckers mp when there's rules in place then yeah we're, we're, we're not doing that again yeah that's basically all you need to know but i think we are pretty much one third down the cd road now i think oh my god okay that truck in front is lagging a little bit but yeah i think we're about one third down the cd road i'm not too sure uh, and it hasn't really gone too bad, actually. Um, I mean, I will admit I am a good driver. Uh, I think I'm certainly more better than uh, other drivers on the road. I'm not saying I'm the world's best driver, but I would say that I am kind of, you know, I know how to drive, like I know how to avoid incidents. So mainly I can get down here pretty nicely. You know, you see <laughs> something like that. Um, you know, I wouldn't be, uh, I, I wouldn't do that, but you know i i kind of know how to drive with it with a double so i kind of know that i need to take turns wider and you know give people a bit more space and things like that but uh, the thing is other people don't uh, think of that sort of stuff uh, which is then when it causes the issues so yeah i'm all right with driving a double trailer um it's just um other people might not uh, might not might, might not want to uh basically what's the word i'm trying to think of um basically comply that i have a double trailer so like they'll, they'll be doing stuff that they'll probably do with someone with a single trailer and not with a double if that is making any sense there's a specific word that's in my mind but i can't i don't know what it is but um all you need to know is we haven't really caused any problems and uh we're all fine basically so we're currently following checo perez p2 <laughs> i guess that was from uh, the miami grand prix that uh, that was uh, done literally yesterday as i'm recording this video so i'm recording this on a monday it is currently uh just gone half two in the evening or in the afternoon sorry so yeah there may not be a few people on here that um like the people that would cause crashes so we probably won't have an like an an, an eventful uh, if that's the, if I said that right, an eventful uh, drive, but you know because obviously the, I think the most people that you know do cause incidents on this road are you know like kids, you know, don't really know. Well, obviously you know as a driver, otherwise they wouldn't be even you know they wouldn't be able to get the car moving. But what I mean is you know probably don't know the rules, don't know space and things like that. So uh, yeah, um, that is unfortunately what happens. But uh, yeah, it probably won't be an eventful drive, but at least we uh, we will hopefully see some things. So I do CD journeys um, sometimes quite a bit on, uh, on streams. So yeah, if you do want to join us for that, then you can do so. Like for that one, I'll let that person back in because I knew that there was someone coming on the other side. But even just going for an overtake before a bend with a locomotive, you know, that is pretty, uh, that, that, that's pretty dumb if you ask me, to be honest. Oh, they're a Patreon supporter. They had a, they had a gold trailer. That looked quite nice. But yeah, overtaking with, uh, when you're hauling a locomotive probably isn't the, uh, the smartest idea, to be honest. And, uh, with that, I think we are closing up on the, uh, on the, on, on the level crossing. I'm not too sure or is that a little bit further up i think that's probably a little bit further up i don't think it's just i don't i don't think it's here just yet uh, i think we actually have to go past the uh the brussels intersection first actually so um yeah we are not really halfway through i think the halfway marks probably is like the brussels intersection i'm not too sure um but if i bring up the map uh you can see you know we're nearly at the brussels intersection as, as I said, you know, that's kind of halfway between, you know, the CD road, you know. I would say going uh, going this way uh, on my streams, there is like a lot of traffic when you get to like, um, when you get to the train tracks uh, and things like that. Um, so I hope that we don't run into that uh, at this time. Um, but it does make when you're going the other way on the CD road a bit more, uh, a bit more eventful. Um... I mean, I don't know, actually. I've never really gone this way down the CD road. I've always gone, like, up it, like, Calais to, uh, to Duisburg way. I've never really done the, I've never really done it the other way around. Sometimes I do, but, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, that's what I, uh, that's what I do, really. So, I don't really experience many things, but I think, you know, 
the amount of times I've gone this way, I haven't really seen many incidents. But as I said, that's probably because, you know, I haven't really uh, done this way before or not for a long time at least so yeah take of that as you will but I, i've seen more incidents but obviously that could just be because i've gone the other way you know more because of that basically there's a skoda down there i literally saw that as it uh, as it uh, as it occurred and uh yeah they're gonna lovely wait because they have to give way we have priority because we are on the main road i'll probably uh switch on my cruise control for a bit as well I'll probably just, uh, I'll just uh, monitor it as we're following uh, this player. Uh, I've also got the, uh, like the, the, uh, t their TMP IDs and their ping active as well. So I can tell, you know, if they, or someone else has just been banned, as you can see there bottom left. Um, but yeah, I have got their ping uh, show, or I can see their ping so I can know if they're, you know, a little bit laggy or something like that. So I know when I should probably, on oh my days, I mean, there's nothing they could have really done there to try and avoid that, but yeah. Um, I know if I should probably, like, give them some space or something like that, you know. This person in front of me is lagging a little bit, and I think the uh, truck behind me was going to go for an overtake. Uh, I was going to think about maybe overtaking the guy in front, but then I'm seeing some uh, blue dots on the uh, on the mini-map, and uh, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be wise, and unfortunately... I'm seeing these dots by quite a while, so I think we are going to encounter some traffic uh, approaching the uh, approaching the uh, the train track. So we could honestly be stuck here for a little bit. So uh, we're just going to wait and uh, hopefully. Oh, my connection! My connection has been broken. All right then. Uh, well, while I'm not uh, online, I'm going to quickly reverse. Uh, oh wait, I can't actually. Oh no, that's not good. Um, well, probably this is actually good because it's showing that we're not really going to have many or we're not really going to have the traffic. I don't know why I just lost connection there, though. So what I might do is I might just um, I might just uh, go over here and uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, pull into a lay by. So I hope I'm not been banned or anything. You know, I haven't really seen that message before. Um, usually it's just said I got kicked because of a uh, too high ping, which is. Uh, automatically handed out by the moderators. I don't know why I have actually been uh, why that has actually happened. You know, my internet's pretty good, so I don't really know what uh, what the what what's the, what, you know what that is all about. Let's see. Yeah, we're now going to wait for this train for the cargo train, cargo rail. So yeah, I might just uh, pull into a layby. Uh, there should be one actually a little bit uh, above. Which I know this is kind of like defying the point of me doing this video, but um, you know. I don't really want to go ahead and reconnect while I'm in a place with like loads of people because I could just be in ghost mode the entire time and uh, I don't want that to happen so I'm just going to get through the thing and uh, park up and then we'll continue the thing so when I get over here I'll just reconnect to the server and uh, yeah we should hopefully be able to continue our drive so I'm probably just going to park it up here on the grass uh, just out of the way a little bit and then uh just basically makes it easy for or easier for us to uh to get back onto the cd road so i'm gonna get onto the surfer and i'll brb okay so we are now back on the cd road or, or we're back on the server i mean sorry and um it doesn't seem like there's many people here so i wonder if everyone who was stuck in that traffic maybe got disconnected i mean there's some traffic up front but if i go onto the map there's not really many people behind me that were probably waiting for the uh, for the for the thing, which is slightly interesting. So I don't know if it was just a mass amount of people that were just causing, you know, server connections. So they had to like kick a few people just to try and ease the stress a little bit. And I guess I was probably just one of the you know one of the unlucky ones that um, that had to go. But um, or you know it wasn't too bad. We just drove up a little bit, found a safe spot on the grass, pulled over and uh, reconnected. And uh, we're now back on the road. So yeah, I don't really think that I, eh, if I can even speak because my voice just goes too high. I don't really think that there's much more that we're really going to encounter really because most of the things I do see are the, are the other side of the train tracks. So unfortunately, I think everything from now on is gonna be pretty boring. But uh, you know, the last time I said that, absolutely everything happened so uh me saying that is either just massively jinxed it 
or uh, or hopefully this should be eventful. Um, I hope it will be eventful because that'll make for good content because, yeah, nothing really much has happened today. There's just been a few people that have just tried to cut me off and, uh, you know, some break checks. But as I said, you know, that could have just been lag or something like that. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I mean, I am seeing a few people saying wreck in the uh, in the chat. So um, possibility that there's someone driving erratically in front of me, which uh, hopefully should uh, bring out the, uh, you know, should hopefully bring out the, uh, the content a bit more. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, we have some uh, traffic here and I think that there has been a crash. Uh, and uh, yeah, we will uh, hopefully. Well, I say hopefully, I mean, I want to get into accidents and I don't at the same time. <laughs> But um, it is what it is. But at least we can still, you know, do this challenge of trying to deliver a, uh, a double trailer. So, yeah, hopefully um, we can do this. I mean, as I said, you know, well, someone just went down the uh, inside there as a Skoda, if you saw in the mirror. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, I'm, you know, I can pretty much do, double, tra you know, double trailers and things like that. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can get uh, to the, uh, to the, to, to Calais. But then again, you know, going into Calais uh, can be uh, sometimes a little bit stressful and things like that. Look at that beach. Look at it. It's so nice just to see the beach there. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just like seeing it. I, have, I haven't really noticed that. I, I, you know, that's the strangest thing because I've always been on that side looking at the sunflowers. I haven't really been able to like look over and look at the... Uh, and look at the and look at the uh, the sea. So yeah, that happened. But as we're driving as well, um, you might have been seeing uh, some trailers that might have looked a little bit weird. Um, you may have seen other people with double trailers where one half could be filled with something, and then the second half could be something completely different. I want to know how people do that because I know you know I know how they are doing it it's like uh, custom trailer design and something like that but i don't actually know how you do it in the game that's the thing uh i don't know if it's like an additional thing that you have to download or something like that uh i've tried looking on the forums to see if there's anything there that might give me an indication as to how uh you do it but i haven't really seen anything uh on uh, on any sort of social media on how to do what they did so if anyone does know uh how people have done that or how you do it please do let me know as i don't really uh or i don't really know how to do it by the way what is my fuel like uh, okay i'm pretty good i just had a you know i just had a thought you know i uh, don't actually have enough fuel while i'm passing a fuel station uh yeah I, I i i didn't check that before this video which could have been a bit uh yeah it could have been a bit worrying but as you can see there's loads of traffic on the other side and Actually, if I was coming down it, I'd be stuck in that right now. So I'm glad I'm not stuck in that. Someone taking a bus as well. Uh, I know how you get the buses and things, and I know how you get the Skodas. Oh, they just uh, couldn't break in time. I guess they were expected to uh, to start going. But um, as I've been saying, you know, please do let me know if you know how people do like the the the, the custom trailers. Because I want to know how you do it, so then we can haul like three locomotives on the, on the next uh, easier stream that we do on Truckers MP because that will just be hilarious but uh, yeah uh, there isn't really anything going on right now in terms of oh my as soon as I say that as soon as I say that and there's a Skoda driving like a complete uh, madman and there's actually someone on my friends list uh, on my right here who is it let's have a look and I think it's Melvin are you gonna tuck in behind me then Melvin I think he uh, disconnected his trailer because uh, he doesn't really want to do a double again. Uh, he actually gave me the uh, the idea for this video. He was doing um, you know double trailers down the you know down CD this morning, um, and I was like thinking, how did you do it? So I thought, why not? Come on, do a video about it. And uh, if I get crashes, content. If I get banned, content. If I don't get banned or anything like that boring video but still content so yeah he basically gave me the idea so i guess thank you melvin for uh for giving me this idea and uh, i hope you guys are still watching if you are watching to this point then comment uh comment the emoji of an actual like cd disc uh comment that emoji um so i know that you've watched this far so yes make sure you go ahead and do that but uh, with that being said, we are now uh, approaching the end of the CD road. And as I said, you know, nothing really eventful has gone on. 
Um, so unfortunately, it has been a bit boring, but we're not done just yet. We still have CD to enter and uh, laggy trucks as usual as well. So stick around because we, have, we haven't finished the drive just yet. We still have to enter Calais. And annoyingly, I don't know how I'm going to get around this corner, to be honest, because obviously I, I do have a double trailer. So I do sort of need to occupy the other lane, but I'm wondering if I can almost use this side a little bit, try and get it around. And we're all good, actually. I probably didn't actually need to pull out that much, to be honest. It's probably when I was just approaching it, I was thinking, hmm, I'm actually going to need to... Uh, to pull out here but uh, we got through that all well so we move on we move on so as i said you know only have to contend with calais and you will see when we enter calais why we need to be uh why, why we need to be pretty careful okay melvin is kind of lagging a little bit even though he's got 22 ping he is actually quite lagging a little bit so uh yeah i don't really know what is uh what is causing that look on the mini map and you can tell why getting into Calais might be an issue. I mean, it's really going to be an issue if you're coming out of it, actually, to be honest. Going in is not so bad, actually. But, um, you know, if you're trying to exit Calais, it can be quite, uh, quite a challenge. Um, but, you know, when I'm on my streams, you know, this road is, you know, this slip ramp is full up. You know, the other side is just chocker blocked. And, uh, yeah, it gets quite laggy, even for my system. I think I get down to like, um, server will be updated in one minute. Oh, does that mean that we're all going to disconnect again? I have a feeling that means that we might all get disconnected again. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, even the system or even, you know, with my specs, the game still lags a little bit. I think I dropped down to probably about 15 FPS, something ridiculous like that. So yeah, there, there, there's a lot of people just in this place alone. And I think there's about like 2.8 thousand people on the actual server right now. Obviously spread across Europe, you know, then they're, they're not all here. If I open up the tab, there is currently 54 players near me. Um, and that's real life players as well. I should probably mention that, you know, all of these are real players, you know, this is not AI. This is, uh, you know, these are actual people driving the game right now. So, yeah, it can get a little bit tricky, to be honest. But uh, normally, it's all good. I don't know why we've got some... Uh... Oh, yeah, server closed. Let's connect again, restart. So, uh, we'll pull over and, uh, yeah, we will, uh, <laughs> we will reconnect again. So, let me just drive up, make sure that my trade is no longer on the road. And uh, I'll restart the game. Oh, Simulation 1 is actually offline. Ah, that's interesting then. I guess I'll have to wait then for it to reconnect because I guess it's offline right now. All right, I'll wait until it's online and hopefully we can continue doing this journey. That was uh, that was great timing, wasn't it? Okay, so it's literally been like five minutes and the servers have rebooted and there's already like a thousand people on the server. So um, yeah, uh, the reason why the server shut down, I've actually know why they shut down is because ProMods just released. Uh, ProMods, the new version for 1.47, the new version of Euro Truck. So uh, they just released. So uh, initially, all, all of the servers on ProMods are on meltdown. You know, so many people are downloading it. But that is the reason why the uh, why the servers got reset because ProMods just released. So yeah, if you don't know and you want to get ProMods, then go ahead and get it if you want. Uh, I mean, you probably all know that it will uh, that it is out, uh, you know, before even this video gets recorded. But as I'm recording this video right now, ProMods has just been released. So um, yeah, uh, I might go ahead and do that in uh, or in a few hours, or maybe I might leave it a day or two until the servers are not in complete and total meltdown. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just take my time with it. You know, I'm not really in any rush to get pro mods. So uh, yeah, I, I don't really think it's uh, much Lee or I don't really think it's needed right now. But uh, here we are entering Duisburg. So unfortunately, as I said, you know, there is only a thousand people on. But I think again, you know, most people are going to be near Duisburg. So hopefully we still get uh, some incidents. I don't know what is happening on there. It should just be normally just driving. So, yeah, I don't really know what is going on with uh, people there. So, someone's just been kicked. Absolutely lovely. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, now maneuver our way into Calais. Because, obviously, I'm pretty sure that people are going to try and block some roads. Oh, we got a red now. Not ideal. But, uh, 
we'll uh, wait here anyway, because obviously I don't run red light. Even, you know, when there's no one, you know, around, I still stop at them because I think uh, that is something that can get you banned or, it, you know, it can be. But what I mean by can be is will the mods actually look at that and think, oh, they're breaking the rules, ban, ban, ban. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I mean by like actual ban. I thought it was actually going to be turning in here. What are you, what is that Skoda doing? I saw a shadow and I thought it was that truck for a second. <laughs> but no, it was, uh, it was it was one of my flags. So uh, yeah, honestly, I thought the truck on my right was just going to come in. Oh my days. I nearly had a complete heart attack there. I probably shouldn't have done this because I'm kind of blocking that bus. And I could have left space for that bus to get around. I've noticed that, so that is uh, that's a point deduction. If that was a uh, if that was a driving test, I think blocking an unnecessary place. Right, this is actually going to be a bit tricky because I've, I've got a truck there, and I need to get around there. So um, it's now or never. I think that was pretty good. Probably didn't actually need to, you know, I probably didn't actually need to give that much space to be honest because I was looking back and, uh, you know, it was actually seeming like, you know, my, um, my thing was okay. So, uh, yeah, I probably didn't need to take that wide of a turn in, but, uh, I did anyway. Oh, and there's Checo Perez. <laughs> We've been reunited. Right. So let's now go ahead and uh, turn in as they are in no collisions. So that is all good. And we'll go ahead and park it up just now so let's go around to the left and uh yeah we'll go ahead and line it up it's not really too bad to line up stuff to be honest even with a double trailer you know you can't do reverse parkings with a double so yeah at least it's easy on that sense that you know you don't have to literally try and maneuver the thing because trying to reverse a double even with years of experience it's going to take you a while all right where's my ding there we go. And there we go. We'll go ahead and uh, unload the trailer. And there we go. Excellent rating. No damage whatsoever. And yeah, I did like long distance fragile trailer maneuvering, things like that. And that gives us a good junk chunk of XP. And if you wondered how I got to this level and this money, you probably were wondering at the start. I basically have a money sheet that I use on this profile because this is the one that I specifically use for things like Truckers MP. But that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you drop a like if you did enjoy it. And if you want to see more, maybe of me traveling on the CD road, probably, you know, like we could probably do some challenges, you know, on the CD road, you know, for videos, you know, transporting a locomotive on there. You know, if you want me to, you know, transporting anything if you want me to uh, let me know some suggestions that you would like to see in the comments down below and obviously make you make sure you leave a like subscribe as well so you never miss that content and i'll see you guys in the next video or stream but until then take care and peace out <laughs>